Tanner, what you got? Got old <laughs> doormat. Look at that thing. He yoked it. See if we can't get that plastic back. That ostrite jig head. What jig is that? <laughs> That's on the down south. Down lure. south fishing. Golly. Absolutely roof, beautiful or... fish. That's your second 19 inch of second the day so far. Second 19 of the day. Of the day. On some mats today. Shout out to Captain Coulier. Coulier, aka Collier. That's what he's calling me. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thanks for tuning back in. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Brandon. I'm a recreational fisherman and a charter guide here along the Alabama Gulf Coast. Uh, we've actually been doing some fishing for a while. I haven't been, or today, I haven't been recording this morning. We've got probably seven or eight flounder in the box. I wasn't going to record today, but the action is just so good right now. I figured I'd throw the camera on and share it with y'all. But we're uh, right now, we're just targeting some uh, little small islands in about two or three foot of water. Just throwing grubs. I'm throwing the fish bites. Tanner's throwing the down south. Down south. Swig is throwing, I think he was, I throwing, was throwing the fish, fish bites. bites. But now I got a K Wiggler. Yeah, that's right. And if y'all don't know, this is Tanner D's with Dolphin Island Fish on Instagram. Y'all go check him out. This Salty Swigs, he's got his own YouTube channel as well. Y'all be sure to go check him out if y'all like saltwater fishing. But I'm going to quit talking and we're going to get to catching. Y'all please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Let's get to it. Let's go. All right, guys, so today the setup that I'm using is a Fenwick. This is an inshore seven foot medium light rod. Y'all know I've got my Shimano Old Tegra 3000. I strike weedless jig head here, Texas Eye. Got that rigged up with a five inch fish bites brawler in the white knuckle color. I've caught only two so far, and they were both small. Tanner's been killing me so far. Started off good. I got six. Six, okay. Swigs has got two. I've got two. Two and a, and a, and a nice thing. mangrove. Coming up on a point here. It's got a little bar coming out the end. That's kind of where we're working to right now. Hook free sets are free. Fish. That's a fish. Hook <laughs> sets are free. It's free, Swigs. <laughs> Dude, he was on surface. That's a keeper. Can you net me, Tanner? Yeet that jerker. He swallowed it. Oh. Yeet. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> I taught him right. I taught him right. Yeah, Corey taught me to eat, y'all. And so we are in Mississippi today. The, li the uh, size limit is 12 inches, and we can keep 10 a person. It's coming out oh, my people. gosh. <laughs> Tanner, look at this. It's coming out. Let's go. <laughs> I think he wanted it. That's freaking crazy, dude. That looks really good. Doesn't it? Right on the inside there. Dude, both ends of this. Yeah. Hey, man, you better watch it. <laughs> oh. On? Oh, double. Flags. Double with the flatties. <laughs> got it. Tanner's got it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yay. Oh <laughs> Y'all super hook set with a super yeet. Y'all are killing me, dude. Yeah. Oh! He's old. He's a net. He ain't big. He ain't big. He sure felt big though at first. Skating. Got on. Got the fish bites on again. Yeah. Get that, y'all. Double up on the double up. Of course, Tanner's is like twice my size of the my flounder. I don't know if y'all can see on the GoPro, but there's a little bar that comes out, a little <laughs> slow drop off, and that seems to be the right spot there. Still counts. I was doing good, too. About three now. Still counts, but... Four. <laughs> oh, he just slammed it as soon as it hit the water. Oh, get the net. Okay, net. He's, he's, he's not big. When I said the hook, he felt big. Everything, down. Everything feels big Everyone's on the Fenway. Yeah, y'all, this lightweight calm setup down, here. Says, calm down. Yeah, he ain't big. Oh, that is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that is nothing. <laughs> we are on a sleigh fest today, y'all. We are whacking some sleigh fun. fest here. I mean, that was instant. I thought I was hung up on a rock again, but I didn't hit it with the bow and arrow method this time. <laughs> That's how you set the <laughs> Open hook, that up. Right? Right there. We're on. Uh oh. <laughs> did I not? Did I not just say it right there? He's catching up. 
quick, yo. Give me the fish bites again. <laughs> I'm putting the brawler back on. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> But, hey, these the ones I'm catching ain't no monsters, but dead gone, they eat. Is that your bait? No. I don't I think. Just a bait. I don't think so. I don't like how close your tip is to my face. I mean, it's been like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is not good hooks that area. That's him. <laughs> he didn't like that. He did not like that. Oh, he just came back. Yes, he did. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> Skip papity pap across the water. Why, why can't they be just a little bit bigger? Like, all the ones I'm catching is yeah. small. Tanner's over here getting 18 and 19 inches. Right, so. yeah, I'm saving those for me. He's, he's good, he's good. Five Not five. quality. Though. I don't know if that was the same fish or a different one that came back. Speaking of slick, I'm, I might try my, my big pink slick. You sucker. You got him, don't, don't you? I think. Go set the hook. Yes, you do. Watch, it's gonna be a 20 inch What in the hell? I just <laughs> threw there. Is he good? He's staying down. Yeah, he's good. He's good. It's good. Oh, oh no, it's false alarm. Swig <laughs> <laughs> just done netting fish for me. It was done this morning. It was done this morning. I pull up a 14, 15. No, we ain't netting that. Yo, everybody's mad. I'm whacking them. I ain't mad. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be whacking them without the boys putting me on it. I'm ecstatic I'm right mad. now. Y'all ready? I'm on. <laughs> oh, he pulled it. <laughs> oh, he came back. He came back. He came back. No. He came back. Oh. <laughs> I just threw my bait off. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Uh, you got weight? I got 10. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 17. Let's go. Oh, it just came Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's a nice fish. Look at this crap, y'all. <laughs> Swig's over here like... I just threw my lure off. <laughs> After they doubled up, of course. Oh, oh man. Lives? Come on, y'all. <laughs> Please go 17. 18, baby. Yeah, buddy. Nice Good. bitch. All right, guys. We're going to swap lures here. We're going to the big, slick lure here. These usually hold up a little bit better. Fish bites is just getting eight up right now, and I'm actually out. So we're gonna give this a shot. Same color. Not for the big there he is. He grabbed it. Yeah, you did. See how small that flounder is? <laughs> and he ate that slick. Inhaled it. Okay, no, he didn't. I thought he did. On the slick. Flatty, number one, on the slick. Yeah, white. They're really liking the white color today, which it could be just because that's how we're throwing. Well, we started earlier. I haven't colors. thrown anything <clears throat> white all day. Yeah. I've thrown paint, all kinds of colors. All right, guys, we're back at the house now. We had an awesome day out there on the water with Tanner and Swigs. We ended up getting 25 flounder. I think we kept 23. A lot of those that we caught were in between 14 and 15 inches long, which is uh, legal in Mississippi. 12 inches is all they have to be to be legal in Mississippi, 10 per person. And uh, we kept a lot of the small ones just so we can do what we're doing right here. I've already filleted one up. This is a prep flounder hole. All I did was cut the tail and the head off. I put some scores in the meat 
And that right there, if y'all have not tried whole fried flounder or bait or however you like to cook it, is is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate what I did to get to that point there. I am using my five inch sword fillet knife here. If y'all haven't already, be sure to go check them out. Great strong knives. But we're gonna start with the top side of this flounder here. And all we're doing is taking these scales off because we are gonna be frying these flounder whole. You don't wanna be chewing on scales. So we're just gonna get all of these scales off here. As you can see, the gill is the gills are cut there, so we did uh, brain and bleed these fish as well. We just threw them all in the live well. Did them all at once, just to save some time. This is all we're doing, getting these scales off. You can use a spoon, knife, serrated knife. Everybody has their own tool they like to use. We're also gonna scale the bottom side here, because you can eat both sides if you don't know. I actually prefer the bottom side myself. I honestly think it tastes, the meat tastes a little bit sweeter, in my opinion. All right, so we got both sides scaled. All we're gonna do now is cut the tail off and cut the head off. Sometimes helps to have a serrated knife to get through the bone. This knife is sharp enough to get the job done discard of that then these flounder whenever you cut the head off have a little blood cavity here i usually pop that open i get a water hose wash all that out all right so we're almost through now but just to get it prepped for cooking we're going to cut four scores in the meat here just run your knife right along the backbone there you'll feel your knife run across the uh, diagonal bones that this fish has in the meat you can do as many as you want. I usually do four, and then I'll cut one, once down the middle, just like so. We'll do that on both sides, but really just do that just uh, so it'll cook more evenly in the meat, and you can also put whatever seasoning you like and flour if you're gonna fry it inside of there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this other side, get them in the kitchen, cook them up. time has finally come. We have got the fish fried here. Tanner has never tried whole fried fish and surprisingly enough he has decided to put mustard on this plate right here. Y'all are some, playing with my mustard. For some reason we've also got our mangrove snapper here. I got some ketchup but I say we all get a piece of just the meat first. Give it a shot. Agreed. So Agreed. Go, just the flounder. Go ahead and get your piece. Whole fried flounder. So, as I was saying earlier in the video, I put them splices in the flounder meat just to make it easier to get the fillets off. Just like, like so. Makes it a lot easier when you put them splices in there. So we're gonna cheers and we're gonna try it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. So it tastes different than if you were just to fry a fillet, does it not? I think so. You get a little more flavor probably from the bones. You know what I mean? It's really good. I mean, the Everglades with the fish fry. Okay. Swigs is going in on this. This is fins. the best part, y'all. You never, can eat the fins. This never, is the fish chip. But you just put like the crap ton of bones in the mouth. No. Because I picked them off the outside. Okay, let me try. So I didn't get the inside this. bones. If you get the fried so fish good. on the outside, that, that's yeah, good. Yeah, it's like a, a fish chip. The tails are really good, but apparently they got cut off. I thought, I mean, that's the best part. I'm not lying. <laughs> right? The fins are really good. Yeah, they're really they're good. good. It's delicious. <laughs> My first time trying them. All right, yeah. so this is the mangrove. Here's snapper. the mangrove, y'all. Whole fried oh, mango. Yeah, let's get some mango. Some that mango. Ooh. Mm. I don't know. What? It might be better than fine. Let me try. Mm. It does have a different taste. They're different. Totally. They're good. But they're both incredible. Yeah. yeah. You have to see. It's got that beautiful white flaky meat. As always, you gotta love flounder. Mm. Beautiful meat. 
Well, we're gonna go ahead and finish this video up. Enjoy this planner. I hope y'all did enjoy it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Y'all go follow these guys right here. I'll have them both linked down in the description below. We'll see y'all back out in the water next time.